Koji Sato, the newly appointed president and CEO of Toyota, has launched the company's future with a plan to immediately and thoroughly implement electrification. However, one aspect of the proposal severely alters the expectations that many people may have for the future of dual-cab UTEs and threatens to kill off vehicles like the hydrogen-powered Toyota Mirai. If the new CEO's proposal materializes, Toyota's commercial vehicles, such as the Hilux UTE and Hiaspan, may eventually be powered by the technology created for the Mirai. And so, in today's episode we will investigate why the Toyota Hilux will be hydrogen-powered this decade. In many markets across the world, pickups predominate in sales. After selling at least one F-Series truck on average every 49 seconds last year, the Ford F-150 has been the best-selling truck in the USA for 46 straight years and the best-selling car in the country for 41 years. One of the most well-liked cars in various areas of the world is the Toyota Hilux truck. For seven years running, the Toyota Hilux has led the Australian sales charts. Similar circumstances can be found in South Africa, where the Hilux has dominated the market there for nine years running. The majority of the major players in the pickup market have either taken steps to launch electric versions of their well-liked pickups or are developing some electric pickups. Long in production, the Ford F-150 Lightning has gotten favorable reviews from consumers. In conjunction with Toyota Thailand's 60th anniversary, Toyota has recently unveiled its Toyota Hilux Revo BEV concept. The Toyota Hilux is produced in large quantities in Thailand. Looking at the images of the Toyota Hilux Revo BEV concept, it doesn't appear to be a concept which may give some people hope that it won't be too long before it becomes production. Over 19 million Toyota Hilux vehicles have been sold worldwide. An electric version is required for a car that is so iconic in such a significant automotive class. We anticipate a rapid transition from idea to manufacturing for the Revo BEV. It's encouraging to read that Toyota is considering offering the Hilux in battery electric form. Toyota, however, is not content to stop there and plans to continue working on hydrogen fuel cells, remember the Mirai. This time concentrating on the Hilux. Following Sato, Toyota's executive vice president and chief technology officer Hiroki Nakajima spoke and provided more specifics on the company's intentions for electrification. Toyota wants to debut a new generation of electric vehicles later this decade, and according to him, by using batteries with far greater efficiency, driving range will be doubled. However, the ambitions for fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs, are where the brand's competitors and its goals are most different. According to Nakajima, for FCEVs, we will pursue mass production centered on commercial vehicles. One feature of FCEVs is that the energy source, hydrogen, is lightweight, so even when traveling longer distances the vehicle is not as heavy as a battery EV and less space is required. Refueling is also much quicker. Taking advantage of these strengths, we will work with business operators to promote FCEVs by starting with commercial vehicles such as medium to heavy duty trucks. Additionally, we have started basic research on hydrogen engines for heavy duty commercial vehicles last year. Up until now, the majority of hydrogen real-world testing has been done with SUVs or large vehicles. Interestingly, Sato is focusing on plug-in hybrids as a focus area since the firm wants to increase their usability despite being less popular in Australia than typical parallel hybrids or even full BEVs. By increasing battery efficiency to extend the EV mode driving range beyond 200 km, we will reposition PHE visas, the practical BEV and will work harder on developing this as another BEV option. The Toyota Hilux hydrogen fuel cell prototype is already in development. Through the Advanced Propulsion Center, APC, the UK government will provide financing to Toyota Motor Manufacturing Limited. UK, for the development of zero emission vehicles for the project. The project seeks to utilize second-generation Toyota fuel cell components, like those found in the most recent Toyota Mirai, to convert a Hilux into a fuel cell electric vehicle in partnership with UK-based technical engineering partners, specifically Ricardo, ETL, D2H, and Thatcham Research. While TM UK is in charge of the project, a team from Toyota Motor Europe, TME, R&D will offer professional technical assistance to help the UK-based teams establish their own knowledge and self-sufficiency in order to create next-generation hydrogen drivetrain capabilities. The initial prototype cars will be built at the TM UK facility in Berniston in 2023 as part of the project. The goal is to get ready for small series production after successful performance outcomes. 
According to Toyota, this project represents an exciting opportunity to investigate an additional application of Toyota's fuel cell technology in a vehicle segment that is important to a number of industry groups and will help support the sector's move towards decarbonization. Toyota claims that for more than 20 years, it has been advocating a multi-path approach to carbon neutrality by providing a diverse vehicle lineup including all electrified technologies, including hybrid electric, plug-in hybrid electric, battery electric, and fuel cell electric. A crucial step toward achieving this objective is the growth of a prosperous hydrogen transportation sector. The use of hydrogen for tiny vehicles is a contentious issue in most forums, particularly given that contemporary battery electric vehicles are so highly developed and significantly more efficient. However, Toyota is still pursuing this. Answer, what do you think of a hydrogen-powered Hilux? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. On the other hand, a 2025 Toyota Hilux Trail Hunter, anyone? How much in common will the 2024 Toyota Tacoma and 2025 Toyota Hilux UTEs really be? Could they even be the in-one for the first time in history? Thanks to Toyota USA's announcement of a new off-road targeted grade with a surprising Australian connection for the upcoming next-generation Tacoma midsize pickup truck, the answer to these and other pressing questions may be partially addressed. Following the Tacoma Trail Hunter, which was renamed from the Tundra Trail Hunter and unveiled at SEMA in November of last year, it will probably be unveiled in mid-May along with the rest of the 2024 Tacoma UTE lineup, sporting a number of ARB 4x4 accessories that may also be found on the anticipated 2025 Hilux. The press release from Toyota hints that the Tacoma Trail Hunter, developed from the ground up for individuals seeking prolonged adventures, will build upon Toyota's famed off-road and overland incredibility with purpose-built engineering and durable components. For more, stay tuned. Tacoma and Hilux compatible accessories. Given that the former was a bigger version of the latter, this may be a novel and fascinating development. Then why not? Currently, they would be a perfect fit for the growing, wilderness, trend that is sweeping many North American trucks and SUVs, including the named Subaru Forester version that kicked it all off stateside back in 2020. Although Toyota hasn't said it clearly, it is widely believed that the upcoming Tacoma and Hilux will share a lot of technology under the hood, including petrol-electric hybrid powertrains, and may even merge to become nearly identical vehicles overall including in terms of size, body, interior, and specification. This is a result of the two mid-sized trucks using the Toyota New Global Architecture Frame TNGAF, truck platform. Likewise even though the 2024 next generation Tacoma will be the TNGAF's first mid-sized vehicle, it won't be the last, since the Hilux, Prado, and perhaps even the Fortuna will all use the same technology in the near future. We'll have to watch how that plays out. It makes sense to bring together Toyota's mid-sized vehicle products into a single connected structure given Australia's voracious appetite for larger UTEs. Stay tuned, as more details will become available as the Tacoma's mid-May debut approaches. Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.